Oh yes, oh yes, I can see it. This is the future. The best computer for music production has an ARM processor. Yes, those are the processors that are in your mobile phone. If you're new to the channel, make sure you are subscribed and hit that little bell icon. This is my prediction. Within five to 10 years, we have totally different computers that aren't compatible with our old ones. Those new computers have ARM processors in them. The new platform is ARM and ARM will replace our current type of processors of AMD and Intel. Let me tell you a little backstory. There are two main types of processors on the market and those are totally incompatible with each other. Those are CISC and RISC processors. RISC stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computers and CISC stands for Complex Instruction Set Computers. A RISC processor has a reduced and simpler instruction set that makes it easier to program for. To do one simple task like multiplying a number for example, it can do that in one clock cycle. With a CISC processor you need two or three clock cycles. Okay, it's way oversimplified here, but at least you have an idea what's going on. This means that RISC processors are far more efficient than CISC processors, 20 to 30 percent. This also means that they produce less heat and what they do in order to prevent processors from killing themselves is slow them down so it takes risk processors longer they can deliver more power um, for mobile phones for example that's ideal but also for heavy duty applications like music production computers for music production can be a complicated matter so i wrote a special chapter about it in my free ebook you can download it the link is in the description below also are in there super useful tips and tricks for djs and producers RISC processors emerged in the 80s but never got a real foot on the ground. But there are some famous examples like the Wii's or the GameCube or the PowerPC Max. But uh, nowadays it's more famous from the phones and the iPads. Famous example of CISC processors are the Motorola 68000 that was a processor that was in the Genesis for example. But also a slew of arcade machines. And the most famous is probably the Intel processors. Every laptop or PC you buy has a CISC processor of Intel or AMD in it. The firm ARM has set a technology standard for RISC processors, which companies can license. For example, Qualcomm with a Snapdragon processor that is in a couple of different Android devices, but also Apple with uh, Apple Watch, Apple TV, Apple iPhone, iPad, etc. If the main advantages of ARM are more energy efficiency, more speed and less heat production, why aren't we using this already in our computers? Well, that's a good question. I think that the problem is software compatibility. Software that runs on one platform will not run on the other, on the other and vice versa. There is some conversion software, but yeah, there is so much overhead that you totally kill your advantage of speed. But I think, looking in my crystal ball, that we are still heading this way. Microsoft already ported Windows to ARM and already ported Office to ARM. And the first laptops with ARM processors already have arrived. And Amazon is already switching for their cloud services to ARM. And don't forget, Apple has already an ARM-based operating system, iOS. And don't you think that Apple has somewhere in his laboratories already an iMac running with an A25 processor? I think so. And if we are so close, why is it here yet? Well, I think it's the software, again. Especially complicated software like um, Final Cut Pro or Logic for that matter. It takes a while to port. Also, there are a slew of third-party plugins that all have to be ported to the new platform. I think it won't take long. I think, well, mainstream PCs, five to 10 years, and Apple, I think even within three years. But DAW software makers do not have the reputation that they use the latest technologies. So I think it will take a while before us music producers can enjoy the technologies of ARM. I think it will take at least a minimum of five years. So much exciting stuff ahead. Is ARM the next best thing for music production? Let me know in the comments below.